Hey guys, Aaron Cybertron Zeng here, and today we are trying out a Galarian Moltres team. Now, I will preface this with the fact that I've been trying to build a good Galarian Moltres team for the last like two hours-ish or so, and I've definitely struggled a little bit. I think this team is very, very far from perfect. Like the Glass Rear team, I think is definitely better than where I am with the Moltres team right now. That being said, I still wanted to try out this Pokemon because I think it has a lot of potential and a lot of good players I know are trying it out right now. So. Moltres is really interesting because it has a really unique um, signature attack in Fiery Wrath, which is basically like a special dark rock slide. And it's got really good bulk as well, as you can see. Great 100, uh, 125 base spadef and decent, you know, 90, 90 HP and defense split. Uh, also, you know, decent special attack. So overall, it's got good stats. It's not amazing, but, you know, pretty cool typing and dark and flying have really good coverage against the majority of the metagame. So... The idea behind Moltres is to ideally enable its weakness policy through either Comfy or the Raichu. So Comfy here can go for Draining Kiss to activate weakness policy, Raichu can go for Volt Switch on a Moltres, activate policy, and then switch out. So two ways to activate the weakness policy, uh, and then ideally you'll be able to do a lot of damage through Max Darkness and Max Airstream. Comfy is great support as well, obviously, because it can go for Floral Healing, and so it can heal back the Moltres after it takes a little bit of damage. So I've got Raichu, Comfy, and Moltres, and like both of these are possible leads. Raichu helps out against uh, Electric-type Pokemon, like the Regieleki and the Tapu Kokos that are running around. And to round out the team, I've got Tapu Fini, Incineroar, and Metagross. Now the Fini and the Incineroar are exactly like the previous team I was using. I think these Pokemon are just really splashable onto any kind of team composition right now, because they don't necessarily carry a game, but they match up pretty well against the majority of the metagame, even when non-Dynamax, and especially they actually thrive when non-Dynamax. And so uh, I think these are just really easy Pokemon to throw onto teams right now, and they give a lot of good synergy with the rest of the team. Obviously providing fake out support for Moltres is good here. Having fire type coverage in general is good, especially in a metagame where there are a lot of steel types. And as you've seen with the previous team, Tapu Fini can single-handedly carry games as well if players do not prepare for it. Uh, the last Pokemon I wanted to try out with this team was Assault Vest Metagross, and so uh, I think Policy Metagross is really interesting. One of my future teams will definitely have that, but I wanted to try out AV Metagross. I think it's pretty strong, especially because you can't intimidate it, uh, and so this becomes a really, really big Dynamax threat, especially, you know, with Comfy, I can actually heal it as well, so yeah. Uh, I've been trying out Moltres for a while now uh, today, and it's getting a little bit late, so this is not like the final version by any means uh, of the team, but you know, I wanted to make sure I get an uh, upload up today, uh, and also feature a brand new Pokemon. So, let's get started. This could be a pretty good Moltres game. My opponent doesn't really have great Dark Resists. Um... Oh, this is really interesting, because it's obviously a Trick Room-oriented game. So, if they want to safely lead Trick Room, they'd have to go Amoongus and the Dusclops. So, with Amoongus Dusclops, what I can do is go Comfy Moltres, I think, in the back. I really like... I think Incineroar Metagross seems really solid here. Metagross actually does really well into this composition. Feeny's tempting, but I'm not going to bring it. So, let's get into our first battle today. As always, if you enjoy, please share your support by leaving a like, and thank you, as always, for supporting the channel. Hope you all have been enjoying the content recently. It's just Cartana and Reggie Drago. Okay. I have options here. That's the thing. I definitely have options. I'm worried about this being scarfed. Um, Because if it's not scarfed, what I can do is just go for Draining Kiss, Dynamax, and Airstream. Even if you're scarfed, I don't know if you can KO Moltres here, to be honest. And we've got Babiri, so we'll survive a Steel-type attack from Cartana. Yeah, I think I'm going to Dynamax and just go for the Airstream onto Cartana, which maxes. Okay, so I want to see that maxing. That's good. Ideally, it's Steel Spike into this slot. I don't think a double-up should KO Moltres here, but let's see. Nice, Steel Spike goes into Comfy. That's what we like to see. We survive. Perfect. Defense boost doesn't matter, and we Airstream for a one-hit KO. Let's go, Moltres. Nice. Dragon Energy comes out. Does a fair amount of damage. But just activated our Berserk. We should just sweep with Moltres now. Like, this is the exact situation you want with Moltres. Uh, as Dusclops comes out, now I can just go Floral Healing into Moltres, Heal Back Up, and Max Darkness into Dusclops. And Regi Drago Protect, so that should be GG. So, yeah, our very first game with Moltres, you can see exactly the potential of this Pokemon. Like, the thing is that I think as the metagame progresses, people will have better answers for Comfy Moltres. <laughs> so, yeah, a good, good first showing with Moltres here. Um... The thing about Moltres is that against teams that don't have good Dark or Flying Resists, it's amazing. But there are a lot of Pokemon that are pretty bulky. For example, Glastrier is actually, I think, a really, really scary Pokemon to go up against. Um, this is an interesting team. Are you proccing a policy with Comfy here? I would think so. 
this feels more like a Raichu Moltres game, maybe. Um, because I want the Lightning Rod support to help out against the Rotom. So with Raichu Moltres, I can just Volt Switch and Policy up. Comfy for healing here is pretty interesting. Metagross, Mash. Metagross does good damage into this entire team comp. So I I'm thinking we want Metagross, but this is one where like I think all, all of the Pokemon you could definitely make an argument for. Um, Feeny is interesting, but it doesn't do much. That's the problem. I guess Intimidate actually doesn't work against most of these Pokemon though. So maybe we don't bring in Center. I think Metagross comes out. I'll probably bring Comfy for uh, healing. Uh, one thing that I will say with this team is that you often are playing with more support-oriented stuff, like Comfy barely does any damage, um, and Raichu doesn't really do too much either. It's gonna be Glastrier and Malamar here, okay. So obviously Glastrier is a big threat. Um, it's a really, really big threat. <sighs> Probably Dynamax is here, so I kind of want to fake out Malamar, switch out into Metagross to take the potential Ice-type attack. I think Glastrier is probably one of the worst matchups for uh, Galarian Moltres right now. So I have some answers against it, right? I've got Intimidate from the Incineroar, um, and I've got a Metagross switch in. Yeah, so that Dynamax, is, that's not surprising. Get Fake Out off, that's good. Let's see if they Hailstorm, yep. Okay, so that's not bad. Now what's interesting is, do I want to conserve my Dynamax for Moltres in the late game? Because here, what I can do is just Volt Tackle into Malamar, Dynamax, and Steel Spike. I think that's probably the better play. Obviously, I really, really want to max Moltres, but this doesn't feel like the best game for it. Nice. Well, Tackle does a ton. Yeah, and the thing is, with Steel Spike, I get a defense boost too, right? And that's really, really good against a Glastrier. Okay, Quake goes into Raichu, but that's fine. Uh, the other thing is, I really don't want to activate a weakness policy on this thing right now. Um, I think we go out into Moltres, we protect, and target the partner. Uh, this isn't ideal, actually. I mean, I could just Fiery Wrath here. The thing is that only one of these is going to be policy, right? But I think here, I might actually have to attack. I also don't know if like Steel Spike plus Fiery Wrath would be enough to KO Glastria. I don't think so. It's just so bulky. I'm also not very fast on Metagross, but they do look like they're Trick Room. So I'm thinking here, maybe we could double up onto Metagross just for a KO. The play I'm leaning towards here is Protect and Quake into Metagross. Yeah, I'm going to offer that. I just, I really, oh wow, that was really close to a knockout. That's the policy, okay. But he meteor mashes into Metagross, interesting. I wonder if it's a double up then? No, and a uh, max knock onto Moltres, okay. That was not the option I was expecting, but I think we win off that then. Because now I can just uh, Brutal Swing. Or sorry, not Brutal Swing. <laughs> uh, fiery Wrap and go for Max Steel Spike into Glastrier. Ooh, I don't know if that's a KO, this thing is so bulky. Okay, nice, Metagross does beat that. Okay. I love that you can barely see the Moltres here, but I do think that we had to max Moltres in the- or sorry, max Metagross in the context of this game, because Malamar was a threat early on, so we can Fiery Wrath and just, uh, Zen Headbutt now. And the, the reason why Metagross is- one of the reasons why Metagross is so good right now is because of its, uh, ability to just have Steel Spike and Quake, like, uh, Exodrill. It's like a bulkier Exodrill, basically, right? Uh, and, and, like, players will often be scared of attacking it because they try to respect a weakness policy, which is, I guess, what my opponent was, uh, going for with their play earlier. Okay, so here, what do I want to do? Uh, there is a Regieleki, which is scary, but I don't know if that's actually that much of a threat. There's another, there's a Glastrier here, which is interesting. This could be a really good Dynamax Metagross game, to be honest, but I, I'd like to bring out Moltres here if I can. Um... The thing is, don't get baited into Dynamaxing this Pokemon all the time if you're using it, because it's all about finding the right scenarios for it. I will say, though, my opponent doesn't have great Dark Resists here, right? Other than, I guess, the Galarian Zapdos, but do you really want to bring that out against us? Probably not. So the mode I want to lean towards is just Raichu Moltres here. I think Metagross is probably a must-bring, because we could max it. And Feeny is actually really good into the majority of my opponent's team. This is a weird one where I think all six of the Pokemon are really good. So I don't know if I made the best Pokemon choice here, but let's see. Okay, it's Lele and Zapdos. Um, that might be a problem. That might be a problem. I don't have Nuzzle here. If I did, I think my play would be to Nuzzle and Airstream. I've got Eerie Impulse though, which is pretty interesting. Um, and Voltac. I mean, Voltac does a lot of damage here. I'm leaning towards Volt Switch into Zapdos. 
I could Dynamax Moltres, actually. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna Volt Switch, Max, and Airstream. Okay, they switch in Landris, but that's okay, because I still get the speed boost from Airstream. And it's Scarf Lele, so that's really good to confirm, too. That's a big deal. Honestly, I will take that turn. Like, I, I don't think that's bad at all, especially because I know you're Scarfed. Now what I can do is self-volt switch, activate my policy. You're not Scarfed on the Landorus, so I can get a guaranteed knockout onto that slot. I do wish now that I had Comfy, though, because if I had Comfy, I can just keep healing myself. But yeah, this is great. So policy's activated. Uh, I get a knockout onto the Landorus, and I get a free switch in. They led with the... I think giving a... Um... Metagross a boost here is fine, especially because terrain is up, so I can Zen Headbutt and do a ton of damage. I don't take any damage from the Psychic either. Okay, nice. So we are set up right now. We are not taking much at all. Yeah. <laughs> we just end up getting a win. I mean, I mean, that's just Moltres putting on really good pressure. Okay, I'm glad I added Metagross to this team because, I, I like I said, I was playing for like two hours before recording this without Metagross, and I just felt like I didn't have a good second option for offense. Uh, I had Landorus, but the thing is that I didn't have anything like could really, you know, take Earthquakes well outside of the Landorus, so not bad. Okay, so you can see like how Moltres can potentially just win you games early on, and that's really nice. Um, I always question like art, like I really like having Comfy and Raichu. I know a lot of players offer one or the other to enable Moltres, but having two different options is really nice. Now I think Metagross is a must bring again into this team because it could potentially Dynamax. I have to worry about Entei. I think that's probably one of the bigger threats. It has Snarl and Sacred Fire. <sighs> I like Comfy Moltres more here. The question is whether I want to gamble and say he's not going to bring Regieleki. It's not a good bring into this for the most part, but it helps out against my Feeny. <laughs> um, Moltres, Comfy... Actually, because they have Feeny, I might still just go Raichu. Yeah, I'm gonna go Raichu, Moltres, and in the back, who do I want? Metagross, like I said. I think Feeny's probably better, but Comfy being able to heal up Moltres is always a tempting bring, it's just that I really don't have much offense if I bring that. Ooh, they go with Dusclops Landorus, though. Okay, that's not bad for us at all. Um, the only question here is, do you just, like, Dynamax Rockfall into Moltres turn 1? Because what I can do here is pivot out into Metagross. Obviously, another play I can make is just like uh, self -volt, volt switch into knocking out Dust Claws, but I actually think the play here is to switch out the Metagross. Sorry. I think the play here is to switch out Moltres into Metagross and Volt Switch into Dust Claws. Yeah, because I think you're going to Dynamax here, but ah, they don't max. Okay. So that's not great. Let's see what they went for then. U turn? <laughs> Oh, that's really frustrating. If we just went uh, Volt Switch Max Darkness, we'd probably just win. But I, I don't mind playing it safe there. Okay, Truck Room goes up. Now this is really interesting. How fast is your Metagross? I'm going to call Mind. Uh, this is tricky because I don't want to activate a potential policy. Do I Dynamax? I think I do. I think I do. And I think I'm going to Steel Spike. Now, I don't know how fast my opponent's Metagross is. That's the big question here. Okay, they're, they're faster too, so that's really not good news. I go for Nightshade. Yeah, and Steel Spike. Ah, oh, that does so much damage. That's really not good. It's really tough to win this now, I think. Uh, this Metagross is enabled up. I mean, I can protect here to waste a turn, but that's it. And I, like, once again, I just can't risk activating a policy here. I wouldn't be surprised if they were self Shadow Sneak. So, Moltres was the way to go. I just really thought they'd have to respect it more on turn one. Um, but. Given the lead, what we could have done was just self volt switch into Max Darkness turn 1, and that would have worked out really, really well for us. So, that's a shame. Um, and them being faster here is obviously tough, too. I'm going to Protect here, hope they at proc uh, activate my berry, and just go for another Steel Spike for another defense boost. I can see a way in which we win this, in which if we stall out Trick Room, we bring out Moltres. Oh, interesting, they have Haze. But, yeah, okay, that's actually really good, because they just activated our, uh, our, sorry, our berry through Protect. Yeah, this might be winnable, especially depending on Dusclops' last move. Now, I'm expecting Pain Split, but I think here we go into Raichu so we can Fake Out on the last turn. And go for a, another Steel Spike. Yeah, it's still possible to win. Okay, they do have Pain Split. They don't kill that much. Ah, never mind. They kill more than I would have liked. A uh, lot of good damage from the Steel Spike again. But we crit there. That might be a really big crit. That might be a big deal. 
Okay, let's see. Because obviously we crit through the defense boosts. If we didn't crit there, it would stay around for a little bit longer. Entei comes out. I can fake out here. I mean, it's probably Sacred Fire, but they can't burn us. I'm honestly leaning towards just fake out EQ. Uh, actually, no, no, no. I don't want to activate a policy, right? I'd rather fake out and Zen Headbutt here. Yeah. Okay, they flinch. Good damage. Ah, they bulldoze. Okay. Is that a problem, though? Like, this comes down to... <sighs> Moltres, can you clutch it out for us? Because my play here is just Fiery Wrath EQ. That crit was obviously huge earlier, though. I mean, they do have plus two defense. We're not going to do any damage into this thing. So maybe I should have gone for EQ because I was flinching it last turn. I don't know if Fiery Wrath Earthquake picks up the knockout here. I honestly don't think it does. Like, Metagross is just so good. So the way to have played this would have been to play more aggressively with Moltres right from the start of the game. Uh, but I didn't make the right call there. Mainly because I like Landorus can potentially put in a lot of... Ooh, sub. That's interesting. Ah, it's not going to pick up the knockout. We could flinch though, right? That does a ton. Okay, that does a ton. He Iron Heads and Moltres survives. Oh, but you have uh, Lando in the back, right? Oh, but can Lando knock us out? I don't think so. And I have Ice Punch. And I've got Tapufini in the back. So I'm leaning towards Protect Ice Punch into Landers right now. We've only seen Steel Spike <laughs> this entire time. Okay, I think he's EQing. Oh, he just Rock Slides. Okay, if we don't flinch, Ice Punch KOs and we win. Ah, uh, but we do flinch. Oof. Okay, I, I still think... Well, that means they don't have Bullet Punch, right? So we still just go for Fiery Wrath. And... Ice Punch. I don't, unless it's Sash, but I don't think it will be. And then Feeny should win the 1v1 against the Metagross. But we got the crit earlier, so I can't complain about a flinch whatsoever. Plus, we could have played this game more optimally. Oh, wait. Moltres is just faster. Okay, that works. <laughs> and Metagross survives. Dude, let's go, Moltres. It took a plus two Iron Head. That's so clutch. That was actually so clutch. Okay, nice. I'm glad the team is finally clicking because I cannot tell you how many like iterations I went through with this and I was just like I don't know what a good partner for Moltres is offensively. Like I was like Lander seems so intuitive but Metagross has actually been putting in so much work because both of these are really strong max options and having one as a non-max option works against a lot of these team comps too. Regirock is super cool here. Um, okay, Cortana. Feeny here is the scary threat, I would say, as is Reggie Lando, because those put on pressure against Moltres early. I like Raichu, because of Eerie Impulse. It's just I feel I feel like I need to bring Insin for the Cartana. I could go Moltres Insin. Moltres Insin? Comfy? Comfy can heal back, and then Feeny? I feel like Feeny's a must bring against this team. So maybe we don't bring Metagross as much as it pains me to say that, because it's been so good for us. Okay, I'm going to go Instant Moltres, early Intimidate against the physical attackers. Uh, Tapu Fini and Comfy. But they go with to Tapu Fini and Togedemaru. Okay. Um, How bad is that for us? It's not awful. I'm leaning towards Nasty Plot turn one. I might just hard switch here, because I always think Togedemaru goes for Fake Out into Incineroar, as Tapu Fini maybe goes for a Calm Mind. That's kind of what I expect here. Yep. Okay, get the plot off. Calm Mind. Yep. Okay. That played out as expected, then. Okay, now what do we do? I, can, I have Taunt. So, like, I don't think you can knock out Moltres here. So, like, I want a Dynamax. I don't think, uh, I think this probably maxes though is a problem, but what I want to do is just Airstream and Draining Kiss. But I think if this maxes, yeah, it maxes. That wasn't a good play. Uh, he probably, they probably just knock out Moltres here, to be honest. I know we don't knock out the Feeny here, unfortunately. Uh, oh, and they Nuzzle. I, I didn't think about that. But Moltres survives! It's so good! Wait, does this KO? There's no way. Oh my, that did nothing. Here's what we can do though, we can, we have to play around the Paras now, but there's actually a good chance we can win this if we make it through the Paras, because now I can max guard Trick Room uh, into Floral Healing Airstream again. 
This is a really interesting matchup, uh, and this was why I was struggling against Feeny earlier, and that's why, like I mentioned, I had Cortana on the team at some point. Ah, uh, but we get fully powered. Okay, well, that'll be game then, I think, because Moltres is the carry here, so that kind of sucks, but it's fine. Like, we, we needed to attack through a bunch of paras anyway, so it is what it is. Uh, it's actually maybe still winnable, so I shouldn't give up. I'm gonna just Muddy Water, Draining Kiss into Toad here. The thing is that they can just Starfall, but then I can just heal back up. I don't even know if we KO with Muddy Water here in rain. Ah, uh, they're faster, so that, they're, they're not as invested in speed. Okay, yeah, we don't KO Toad tomorrow, and no accuracy drop, so. End up surviving, though, okay. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna give up yet, because I think I can Floral Healing Muddy Water again here. And if they miss, yeah, they miss the Comfy. This, see, this is why you don't give up. Okay, we get an Accuracy Drop. Can we hit them in return? Nice. Hit the Togdemaru. Okay, no Accuracy Drop on that. I've got Cartana in the back. Hmm. You're just gonna Muddy Water us here, right? Muddy Water in rain is really bad. I have Incin though, but the accuracy drop here is what really scares me on the Tapu Fini. So obviously I can heal back the Fini, but my opponent's play here is to just Muddy Water, Leaf Blade into Fini. So my play may be to just protect and I guess break a potential Sash here with Draining Kiss. Actually, I wonder if I could have just gone Muddy Water there. Maybe. Oh, they went Moon Boss. Okay. Sub Kartana? Oh. Okay. Then we'll probably. Uh, unless, oh, I mean. Muddy Water probably KOs with Rain being up, right? So I can Blitz Muddy Water. Feeny Protect. That's fine. Ah! Sub Protect! Wow. That's nuts. This was definitely a winnable game, though, but I, I, I played the early game kind of bad. I think leading Moltres into a potential Feeny is bad. So, like. Uh, this is where Raichu would have been really big for us, because I could have gone Eerie Impulse. Uh, and that's like actually why I have Raichu on the team, and I teched it in for Feeny, so I didn't play to my outs accordingly here. Uh, I need a double protect here and a bunch of misses, I think. Yeah, that's our only out. But. Wow. Uh, was that an aggressive prediction? Could I have one if they didn't go for that? Nah, that's always a pretty safe play, yeah. Okay, really well played. I didn't expect sub protect Kartana. Leaf Blade, Sacred Sword. That's a really interesting set. Curious on the item on that. Maybe a berry, but well played by my opponent there. Moltres would have been good here, but you can see how, like, that's the problem. We, we had, what, plus 5 attack? And against Tapu, Max Tapu Fini, we did, like, 45%. Granted, I had a special defense boost itself, but yeah. Uh, that, you have to watch out for Tapu Fini, and I did not do a good enough job playing around it in this matchup. Alright, there's a Moltres Mirror here, which is interesting. They have Zapdos. Maybe, maybe I should just have... Okay, this is actually, I think Eerie Impulse is really good here. I'm gonna go Raichu Moltres in this one, I think. Um, I think we'd kind of need Feeny actually to deal with this. Metagross does better damage here across the board. I want to bring Comfy for like the healing, but I think it's gotta be Metagross. Okay, they go Comfy Moltres. So. This is really interesting because, yeah, this is where I can take advantage of Eerie Impulse. So I'm just going to Eerie Impulse turn 1 and make this not do very much damage and just protect. They probably just, you know, proc policy, max, and airstream into us. So what we do in this game is we stall out our opponent's Dynamax. Yep. Nice. So they're back to neutral. Yep, and they airstream. Perfect. That didn't do very much damage at all. I don't really care about these speed boosts right now either, so that's good. I can either go for another Eerie Impulse, or I could just go for a Volt Tackle outright. But I don't mind making this less effective, so let's just Eerie Impulse. It's probably going to Airstream again, so why not just go to Metagross here? It might be a double up on a Raichu. Yeah, does that KO? It does. That's fine. That was a good play by my opponent, but I'm still okay with that. Question is, do I want to Dynamax something? Call mine, because I could Dynamax Metagross here. Or I could just switch out into Moltres. That's the play I'm leaning towards. Maybe I'm playing a little too passively, because Rillaboom, like, 
Feeney isn't a guaranteed win con in this position. But we saw the other Dynamax, which is good. They protect, that's good. Max Darkness, yep, perfect. Okay, it's so not bad. We saw the other Dynamax effectively, which is big. And we still have our Dynamax to play with, which is obviously very good. I have a Spadef drop, so I have to watch out a little bit about that. I like the idea of Calm Minding again. It's just the Rillaboom in the back that I have to command a little bit of respect for. I think I'm just going to switch back out, honestly. Yeah, Draining Kiss. Right, they do go for Fiery Wrath. Okay. Uh, that's fine, though. Like, another double up won't KO here. So I think I can finally start attacking now. Um, question is whether I Dynamax Tapu Fini. I think the answer is yes. Because the play I want to go for... I, like, I could Dynamax Metagross. It's actually pretty tempting. Giving a defense boost. That actually might be the play. But you might protect here. So I think we double up onto Moltres. Yeah, let's Dazzle, Dynamax, and Steel Spike. Because I think I can see this protecting here. Uh, okay, they just Draining Kiss. That's fine. Fiery Wrath. That's fine. <sighs> Feeny flinches, though. It's not great. Oh, wow. That one-shot Moltres, though. Dang. Okay. Yep, there's Rillaboom, which is why I had to be a little bit careful of maxing this. Uh, I think I can just protect, though. I wonder if another Steel Spike allows me to live a uh, Glide. I also don't know if, like, Hailstorm can one-shot here, because if so, that's the play I want to go for. Let's try it out. Let's protect Hailstorm and see how much it does. Training Kiss. Glide, perfect. Oh. It faints after Hail. Nice. Let's go. Max Attack Metagross is a beast. Cell Steel is the last one, perfect. So now we can just go for... Muddy Water and Steel Spike, I think. Yeah, this protects, but it's fine. Defense boosts onto Feeny are really good, and Muddy Water is actually doing sizable amounts of damage now. Nice. Good damage. Uh, Leech Seed comes out, but that's fine. Like, you can Leech Seed all you want. They're probably going to go for a healing this turn, but it doesn't really matter, because once I knock out Comfy, it's a 3v1, and my opponent can't pick up enough knockouts right now. Plus, I have an Accuracy drop, which is pretty fortunate as well, so... I'm just gonna calm mind and meet here. Uh, actually, I don't want to. I'd rather just guarantee the knockout onto this thing. Let's just dazzle and uh, ice punch. I think the double up there should guarantee the knockout. If we KO this, we should just win. Yeah. Oh, uh, citrus. Okay, I think ice punch plus hail still takes care of it. Oh, actually, it's gonna survive. Yes, yeah, flamethrower. He misses. I, I don't think that would have KO'd with the cell vest, but that was definitely lucky. <sighs> okay. Maybe some sloppy play for me here in the end. Uh, let's call mind again. And... I don't want to switch out into Moltres, because that does more damage into this at this point, so let's just Ice Punch. Yeah, you're going to protect. Can't believe that double up didn't KO. I, I guess I should have just risked the Meteor Mash. I just didn't really want to miss, and I thought like we'd definitely pick up the knockout there. Yeah, we survived the Flint there. Very nice. But I think Hail takes us out now. Yes, it does. The problem is that I didn't really switch out the Feeny, <laughs> but I think we still have our berries, so we should be good. Like, they can keep healing, but now I can just Muddy Water, Fiery Wrath, and with... Yeah, I don't think you can really pick up knockouts here, so as long as we hit our attacks, I think we're good. Okay, Fiery Wrath hits. <sighs> Muddy does miss, but they miss on Motris as well. Okay. <laughs> this is a little too intense. Uh, use Muddy Water and, uh, Fiery Wrath again. Oh, actually, that would have been a good opportunity to Nasty Plot. Yeah, I still have my Berry, right? So, actually, the play here is to Protect and Plot, I think. Because they need to go for a KO onto Tapu Fini. Is it? I mean, if we just hit the Muddy Water, we win. Have we seen Heavy Slam from this? No, we haven't. You have to have Heavy Slam, right? That's gotta be the last attack. If I miss, I'd actually lose, so I'm going to protect Plot, because then my berry activates. I'm just worried about Leech Seed going into Moltres now. Yeah, okay. They have Flash. Oh, they have Flash Cannon, which means they don't KO even because of our uh, items. Nice. Or sorry, because of our boosts. So now we can just Muddy Water and Wrath. Okay. That was scarier than it needed to be, but that's just what happens when you play against Celesteel. This thing is an absolute monster and a really good late game Pokemon. So, yeah. Ultimately, Metagross maxing was huge for us, so yeah. This looks very similar to what I was trying out earlier with Cartana, but Pelly, uh, sorry, Polly and Suicune is pretty interesting. Um, okay, 
Well, I max speed, so I'll win the, the 1v1 in terms of speed. I, I think, actually, the Eerie Impulse is huge for us in this matchup. Yeah, I think it makes such a big difference. So, I think I go Raichu Moltres, Feeny. I don't like Metagross. Ah, oh, Metagross does pretty well into these two, actually, but not so much into the rest. Well, actually, it has EQ for Raichu, too. It's just the Cortana, man. That's what's scaring me. Part of me wants to try out Comfy for healing here. But I think it has to be Ensign just because of Cortana. Like, I have to respect that. Okay, perfect. So this is why I added Eerie Impulse Raichu to the team. It helps me so much in this mirror match, too. So I'm just going to Eerie Impulse Moltres again. And same play we made last time. Protect turn one. I guess I could actually even Nasty Plot here. Um, but I don't like that too much. I'd rather just stall out my opponent's max. Okay, this is a really good core. Metagross is the answer. I, I was struggling a lot, like I said earlier, because I didn't have a good, like, combo to have with Moltres. Like, I was like, oh, Landers or Cortana, but they weren't, like, really pulling their weight, I felt like. Okay. Nice. I, I love Eerie Impulse so much here. It's just so helpful. I wonder if, like, Volt Tackle plus an attack with KO there, but... Max Rockfall, whoa. Well, this is even better than last time because now they don't have a speed boost, right? Uh, whose Moltres is faster? I take Sandstorm damage, their Comfy takes- so their Moltres is bulky. And they just proc our policy, so maybe we just max now. Like, I'm fine Eerie Impulsing, maxing, and Airstreaming here. Yeah, I think that's super safe, actually. And if you look at my opponent's team, no Dark Resists, right? So I think Moltres cleans up in this late game. Part of what is important in team building, by the way, is like you're never going to get it right on your first try. Uh, and this is probably like my, my my fifth iteration of the team already, and it's still... Does, does that redirect Eerie Impulse? I actually don't know. Oh, it does! <laughs> That's interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, today I learned something new. They go for another Rockfall, though, which is fine. Like, that does nothing, you yeah. know? So, I feel okay about her spot. Like, we have another turn of Dynamax. I do wish I had Comfy in the back now, because if I did, this would be a guaranteed win. That switch was very good. It was very good. Um, but Rockfall's not even doing that much to us, so I don't see a problem in going to Feeny here and going for another Airstream to give Feeny a speed boost. And then I have one more turn of Dynamax to work with as well, so I think that's fine. The only problem, I guess, is if Rockfall gets a crit against us, but I don't even know if that KOs. Uh, and they'll, they'll activate Berserk as well, right? Nice. Uh, okay, and the Airstream Feeny. I actually did a lot. Oh, it's not great. Maybe I shouldn't have switched in there. Good read on me switching out there. Cartana is their last one. I think I always Airstream into the Cartana here. Is Feeny faster than Cart? Uh, ooh, if it's max speed, no. I actually should probably re EV Feeny to outspeed Cartana because that's actually a really big deal in this matchup. But I think it's safe to just go out into Ensign here and just Airstream. I don't think my opponent has good counterplay to that. Yeah, and they don't protect. It's, it might be AV, but it just faints. Okay, nice. Very nice. Uh, and they go for Hurricane, but they target the Ensign, so, you know. Eerie Impulse is so good in the mirror match here. So, glad I have. I was I want Charm on this thing, and I want Nuzzle on this thing. But, like, I think... Maybe maybe we don't need Fake Out, actually. Like, we're not using Fake Out that often. That actually could be the move to drop. Okay. More Moltres stuff, so it's gotta be it's gotta be Raichu Moltres again, I think. The Feeny is the problem. Mm, 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 Feeny. I want Comfy to taunt, maybe. Because Calm Mind is a problem, but maybe they don't expect Oh wait, we have Eerie Impulse. Yeah, never mind. This is definitely the duo. Uh, I think Metagross has to come out here. Well, I don't Yeah, I think it's gotta be Comfy, Moltres, Metagross. <sighs> maybe. Like, I feel forced to bring Raichu just because I have Vol Voltak. Oh, wait, sorry. It's Raichu, Moltres, Metagross. Those three are definitely coming. I feel like it's probably Feeny. Nothing else. Like, I want triple offense in this game with Moltres, Feeny, and Metagross. So, that's what I'm opting for here. But, we'll see. Um, For the most part, I think... I mean, all the games today were winnable. And I, I, I think the Eerie Impulse tech has been so good been so 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 good this is an interesting lead because obviously you can only dynamax one of the two i'm actually i would think feeny max is here i think i'm fine going eerie impulse into feeny i want a nasty plot so badly on this but this might max airstream into moltres hmm 
Maybe, maybe what we do is we Eerie Impulse Moltres Dynamax and just Airstream. Actually, I really like that. Oh, I keep forgetting about Eerie Impulse being able to switch in like that. That was a really good play. Pretty good damage from Airstream though, so I'll take it. Calm Mind. Oh, Light Screen. Okay. Hmm. So that means you're support oriented, which is interesting. It's Air Balloon has a special attack boost. Um, I mean, obviously I have to switch out here. I think I want, I want Feeny to get a speed boost here. So I'm going to go into Feeny and go for another Airstream and a Toe Maru. Okay, they go for Fake Out. I'm surprised they went for Fake Out. Right? She's not doing anything in that position. We do 10% with Light Screen being up. I think Light Screen's probably one of the, the, ooh, Matrix Madness. That's a very good move. Uh, it's got to still be Calm Mind and Darkness here. My opponent stalled out my Dynamax really, really effectively, and I thought I had them with this lead, so uh, I didn't consider the Togedemaru switching enough, and that was my bad. Uh, we had a good lead. We had a very good lead, but Lightning Rod is being used a bunch now because obviously of Reggie Alecki and Tapu Koko and whatnot, so... Yeah, I mean, I really like using Raichu. Okay. Yeah, it's just... Breaking through screens here is going to be really, really difficult. Interest Madness... Let's switch. Okay. They crit there, which isn't great. I guess it acts, activates our berry, though, but... <sighs> Valeria Moltres comes out. Now my opponent's done what I normally want to do, which is stall out Dynamax. That's going to Dynamax now. I don't want to proc a policy either, which is the problem here. Yeah. And the, the, Actually, I guess I should have knocked out the Togedemaru so that Raichu can just come in and put in work against this. You're probably not going to be Clay, though, right? So I can at least stall out the Light Screen. Um, uh, this Nature Madness Light Screen Duel is so good. Like, I, th that's the upside of using something that's not super meta, right? Like, Calm Mind is, is kind of what's meta right now, but great, great tech here. Great tech. Uh, I think it might actually just be Air Slash Money Water. Ah! Uh, wait, I can double protect here, right? Yeah, let's double protect. Oh, man, they're gonna Nasty Pot, aren't they? Heal Pulse. And Snarl! Wow, so this is really defensive. Okay. Okay, well, because they revealed Heal Pulse, and we have to knock out, knock out the Feeny here. I don't even think you have Policy then, to be honest. I'd expect Assault Best on this, so maybe we just Gleam and Air Slash. Uh, well, if they do have Policy, though, we lose. We hard lose by proccing it here. So actually, let's just play safe. Okay, they Dynamax. No Berry, which means it could be Light Clay. But another crit, yikes. And a special attack drop. Ah, uh, they doubled up onto that anyway. Ah, uh, does light screen wear off? It does. So, maybe this is doable. We don't have a policy, though. Oh, I could self-proc my policy here. That would be interesting. I think I'm gonna EQ and Air Slash here. We need a KO on this thing. I wonder if we could have survived... We'd also miss the Muddy Water, but I don't think the RNG was super relevant in this game. Like, I got made- like, Eerie Impulse being redirected from Lightning Rod is super sick. Not that it actually really made a difference. My opponent played fantastically in this early game, like, playing super passive to deny my Dynamax, because that's what I have been doing against a lot of my opponents. So, I, I think that's a really effective way to deal with Galarian Moltres. Oh, that actually just one-shot. Ah, uh, I should have Ice Punched. Ah, uh, maybe not. If I Ice Punched, I proc a policy there. Okay, they do activate Berserk. And we're at plus two speed, so this is still definitely winnable, I think. Um, I have Celesteela as the last one. Okay. They don't know where my policy is yet, so I'm sure they're scared about that. I'm leaning towards just Ice Punch and Protect here. Oh, I guess they get Air... Yep. Yeah. I should have attacked there, because now they can outspeed me next turn. Oh my goodness, Iron Defense? Is it policy? It was policy, so it's Snarl policy. That's interesting. Okay. Um, that will win my opponent. Actually, we might still be faster. There's a chance that it's really bulky. So I think we go for the Fiery Rat Flinch. Okay, but they're faster, yeah. This was a really close one, honestly. Uh, so the, playing around the Cell Steel of Wing Con is really scary. I didn't know if it was policy because I saw the Snarl, so that's really interesting. The main problem for us in this match was Togedemaru. Can we win, actually? 
No, not with iron defense. If it weren't iron defense, there was a potential win condition because we have Volt Tackle, but I think that will be a GG. I can fake out that headbutt, but with Leech Seed, it's over. Ha! <laughs> Helping hand. Flamethrower, maybe? Or, or just... Ah, Flash Cannon. Okay. Very cool team. Togedemaru was a beast here. I think if my opponent didn't have Togedemaru, my Raichu actually walks through that entire team. But Triple Electric, not great here, obviously. Uh, that being said, there's really not much more you can do with Raichu. Uh, but what I needed to do was probably knock out Togedemaru earlier and actually use my Raichu offensively in the late game. I think that would have been the way to play this out. Um, so, yeah. That was a really fun set of games, though. I think Moltres actually performed fantastically in the games that we were able to bring it out in. And I think a lot of the text came out here as well. We didn't use Comfy too much, but Metagross uh, did end up being a really good, like, addition. Um, yeah, I'm just letting them get the dub here. Um, but Metagross would have been a better... I mean, Metagross was a really good late-game addition, so... Yeah, synergizes pretty well with this team, so... Uh, I honestly had a lot of fun playing with it. Um, obviously, we took a couple L's, but I think our opponents played really well in those. I think it was... It's this game and this game. This one was the sub Cortana that was really cool. Uh, they also had Togedemaru. So the Lightning Rod has been has been scary, right? Because I think that shuts down my Eerie Impulse strategy. In this one, they set up the Tapu Fini. I mean, we, we got full Parrot, sure, but like I think they played better in the early game. So, uh, oh, actually, because we have Eerie Impulse, how do I deal with this, actually? Like, I feel like Togedemaru Fini is a really tough lead for me. I'd have to probably knock out Togedemaru, so like leading like Ensign Metagross, fake out Max Quake. Uh, but they just fake out Ensign. Ah, Comfy. No, they can fake out still. Uh, maybe it involves then Max Psychic into Feeny. So then, yeah, because if you look at their team, they resist to... Uh, they did have the Cortana switch in, though. So I felt like this matchup wasn't super good, and that means my team probably could have been improved on. And then this one was interesting, where I actually thought the matchup was really good, but uh, the Eerie Impulse being redirected was bad. My opponent played really nicely, and this... Uh, really bulky light screen heal pulse matrix madness feeding was very cool as well because i always respect it as like a calm mindset uh, and that's the upside of using a set like this so yeah anyway that is our first attempt using galarian moltres pretty fun set of game so i hope you all enjoyed thank you so much as always for watching leave a like if you enjoyed and i'll catch you all next time all right peace